Hi, Sadat, I believe you're muted. I've been muted all along. How long was I muted for? <laughs> the, entire, the entire time before you started sharing. <laughs> yeah. So I was saying that um, quick statement is one of the tools that many people, you know, really rely on in order to make batch edits to Wikidata. Um, it is basically a tool that was developed by uh, Magnus Maski, you know, that is based on some simple text of commands. And once you know how to use those commands, you'll be able to add labels to items, add statements, create new items, you know, add, um, add descriptions to items and all of that. So just briefly for people who don't know what a wiki data item looks like, maybe I can just um, wiki data. Okay. Okay. So this is a random item that I'm showing you right now. And let's move this outside of the screen. Um, okay. And this is a random item. And this is the description of the item. Sorry, the label of the item. And then this is the queue number of the item. So we have the labels in different languages, English, Akano, Dagbani, French, 300 languages. And then we have the statements for each, you know, we have different statements for the items. So this item is an instance of a scholarly article. So what I'm going to demonstrate is, um, I'll show you how you can, you know, batch um, edit an item by adding um, a description to a list of items. And then I'll also show you how to add an it uh, a statement to an item. And then, you know, in part two of quick statements, we can look at adding uh, references or something else. And then probably also look at how to actually create items from scratch. So for those of you who are already familiar with uh, Wikidata, you know, the usual thing is to go and click on the edit button and you start adding your labels and descriptions, blah, blah, blah. The same for items. I mean, the same for statements. Let's admit some people, admit all. Okay, the same for statements, you know, adding all of them one by one. So with quick statements, um, it's a web app, <clears throat> sorry, it's a web application. So that means you don't need to download any tool at all. You just have to go to quickstatements.toolforge.org. Uh, and then once you do that, you would see this interface. The interface generally um, it's simple. You just have to log in. If you are logged in, if you are logged out, you have to log in, uh, log in first. And then you are going to be able to add um, a new batch. So basically, a new batch is you know a set of instructions. Then you can give the batch a number or you know some reference. So you know people can. You have a reference for the entire batch that you just uploaded. And so that people can actually search it. And then if there are issues, they can, um, they can look at it and give you some help. Um, so just jumping straight into it. Um, let's say that we want to add, um, we want to add descriptions in Dabani, for example, for female for female lawyers for Ghanaian female lawyers 
So first of all, I will need to have a list of the items that I want to, to batch edit. So with that, you can generate um, a list using the Wikidata query service. Um, for example, let's say that we are looking for female lawyers who are Ghanaian. So let's zoom in to this as well. I hope it's clear. Let's use an example and then just edit the example. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to pull up a list of female lawyers who are Ghanaian. And the objective is to add um, descriptions to those items in a particular language. So in Dagbani, for example. So if I um, you know, change this to lawyers, for example, He's sort of an artist. And then I, um, I filter for Ghanaian, or, you know, lawyers specifically from Ghana. I'm looking for those that have country of citizenship, which is Ghana. And let's remove the limit here. If I run my query, I'm looking for female lawyers from Ghana. Okay. Let's say we have 10. I can remove the limits, then we can have as many as we want. So we have 8,000 results. Um, and what I want to do is, um, let's take one of them, for example. This person, Valeria Shibata. I want to add a description in the band. Okay, for all of these people, for all of the 8,000 people. I think I should, I should, um, you know, filter for just people who are from Ghana. That would make more sense. No results. Hmm. Country of citizenship. Okay. So I have, I've just, you know, filtered the 8,000 lawyers who are females and specifically looking for those who have citizenship that is Ghanaian. And I found 33 people who have that. Now I have a list. So let's go ahead and download the list. As a CSV, for example. Where are the downloads? CSV. Where are you? Okay. So if Sadiq, you can help admit the people so that I don't have to switch between my screens. So I got my CSV here for all of the 34 Ghanaian females who are lawyers. And let's just split it 
you know, so that we, because I'm basically looking for just the QIDs of them. So I split this. And then all I want is this. Possibly also just to look at their needs, but I don't really care about that. So I go ahead and I copy this. Let's use the spreadsheet here. Okay, so these are 33 Ghanaian female lawyers. And like I said, I want to add descriptions in that band. I have to add descriptions in that band. Okay. Now, what is the next step? Um, with quick statements, Statements. We said that we have a list of commands that you have to, you know, prepare and then copy onto quick statements. And these are the commands. You don't need to read all of this. I'll just demonstrate for you to see. Um, first of all, you label the QIDs with the QID. Hope you can see. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, that's probably too large, but it's fine. You label it with a, <clears throat> with a QID, and I want to um, add descriptions in Dagbani. So D for descriptions, capital D, and then the code for the language, DEG. So DDAG. And what descriptions do I want to add? So these people, like I said, they are lawyers. In Dagbani, we would call them um, uh, Alikali. But then they are, they are also female. So I want their descriptions to look like, you know, Ghanaian fe uh, female lawyers. So. Ghana Alkali number in the power. So how do I write that? Um, Okay. Is that correct? Anyone who speaks like me here, please confirm that Ghanaian female lawyers, this is how it should be written. Yeah. Except that uh, the Ghana Alkali Nama Banye Papa Ghana Alkali Nama. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, the A should be added to. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Um, so, basically, you know, I'm adding the same text the same description for all of them. So I just drag all the way down here. And then the next thing I do is, I'm now going to combine these two into one. Okay, so, you know, QID, oops, QID comma, yes. So QID and then the description in the band. Okay, I hope it's clear from now. Now I do the same for, so 
this is not needed. This this red column is not needed, but I just want to be able to see their names, which is also cool. So I combine this and this. So kill ID and then comma this. Um, wait a second. I think um, Roberts or someone really helped with admitting people. <laughs> I made um, someone an admin, um, a co-host, if, if you can just check that. Yeah, you can make me a co-host again. I'll help with admitting. I got a call, so interrupt. Oh, all right, sure. All right, yeah, yeah. And Brian, me, Brian, you can help out. Okay, then let me try that again. Zoom uh, service, so something else. How do I even make someone a co-host? I make someone Recording in progress. Recording in progress. Does anyone know? Does anyone know? Um, how do we do this? How do we do this? I don't know. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Anyone familiar with Zoom and how to make a co-host of someone? Okay, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Make co-host. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Yes. All right. Where were we? Um, all right. Okay, so we need to combine these two columns, separated by a comma. And we can't do it one by one, basically, it just doesn't make sense. You know, by combining these two cells. So I would simply just, use this formula concatenate to put them together so this and this and then actually separated by a comma so separated by a comma and before Over here. Okay. So now we have all of them. We have the QID, we have the description that I wanted to have, the QID, the description that I wanted to have. Okay. So all I have to do is just to copy this this output and go and paste it into quick statement. And then that should be it. So let's go into quick statements. We are going to create a new batch. We can call this batch whatever. Saturday morning, or well, let's just say uh, Canyon Lawyers. And then we import the CSV commands. Oops. I paste it here. And then we import as CSV commands. Once I click on import as CSV commands, all of them appear you can increase you know the the list the count of the list i increased it so that i can see all of the the 34 of them now i just go ahead and click on run i can also run in the background if i run in the background it means i can close this window and just you know do something else 
And once it's done, it's done. It wouldn't be showing on the screen. But I want to see it on the screen running. Um, it makes it makes me happy that when I see it running. So I click on run and then done, 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 all the way. I can mess it down and wait. This is actually a small batch of just 34. But if you have like 4,000 or 60,000, a batch that is 60,000 long, you would likely just probably run it in the background and just do something else. So just for you to see that it worked, if I go on the, this item, Sophia Akufu, I can see that um, in Dagbani, the description appeared. Ghana Alkalinum Banya Papa. You can look at it, the revision history. It was edited some 50 seconds ago, and it actually has a tag added Dagbani description for this item. Ghana Alkalinum Banya Papa. And then it gives it a batch name. So that is how you add descriptions for Wikidata items using if statements in any language. Um, are there any questions about this before we try something else? I wanted to add the descriptions and then see if I can add a statement. And then if it's possible, there's more time to actually add multiple statements to items. So with this, I've just added a description to a list of articles, a list of items. Anyone has any questions about this so far? I think I, I have a, an, a, a connection a challenge and then I, I dropped along the line. So I wouldn't want to um, send you back maybe I'll watch the video later. Yeah. Okay, but you, um, it, it's fine. Just chip in your question. If it's not very detailed, I can explain it before moving on. Well, I I, I didn't uh, see the steps, uh, the other steps. I got the point where the key, you had the, 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 the key are could as, or was it? Um, the QI yeah, needs. the coding and then the the list of the yeah the yeah the QIDs and then um, the mm -hmm. description mm -hmm. uh, the descriptions I got that one so. and then okay. um, the list of the personalities you want to create the UK data on I got that one so the rest I couldn't get it okay I can just explain that in a minute so basically after you've had a list of the items that you want to work with in one column, you need another column for the text of the description. And after that, you need to actually combine these two columns. So the first column is the QIDs, the second column is the descriptions in a particular language. So take notice that the description, if I had made this AK, and then change this to AK, and then copy this into my book statement and run it. The descriptions would have been ACAM descriptions here. It would have appeared here. But my language code was DAG. DAG. So that is how come it is adding descriptions in the Zagbani section of the item 10 box. Okay. So all you need is the QIDs, the description, and then a way to combine the two of them. This is not needed. I can just hide it. And I said that um, you can actually, you know, manually just um, copy this cell, and then you add a comma, you copy this cell, add a you know, comma and then combine it. You do that for all of those. But assuming you have a 
a list of 10,000 rows, you likely need to use a formula for it. And an easy, you know, there are different kinds of formulas. An easy formula that I, that came to mind is to use the concatenate formula in the spreadsheet. So concatenate means, you know, putting two terms or more terms together, like joining them side by side. Once you use the formula concatenates, A1, comma, you know, um, and then B6 separated by a comma. So that is how it appears. And then you just drag it and then you have all of it filled with that um, concatenation. Then you copy that, you copy everything, including the header. It's important that the header is included. You copy everything, including the header. You go to quick statements. You create a new batch by just clicking on the create a new batch, and then you paste the text from your spreadsheet, and then import CSV commands. That's all. Um. Okay, we still have twenty two minutes or less. I'll see if I can add a statement. Now, let's see, um, what interesting statements could we possibly add? Let's say that we are looking for, let's say that we know of, you know, Ghanaian lawyers on, on Wikidata, but they actually don't have a statement that says that they are a citizen of Ghana. It's very possible. So let's, you know, search for that. You can write, um, you can write, uh, what do you call it? A query to do it, but it's slightly a bit more complicated with this kind of, um, with this question that I just asked. You know, about Ghanaian lawyers who don't have a, a, a country of citizenship statement. It's easier to search for it here. Um, so I'm just looking for Ghanaian lawyers. First of all, I have a tall list of Ghanaian lawyers, but then I'm looking for those who have no country of citizenship statement. And country of citizenship, the property for country of citizenship is is what I think is P27. I'm not sure, but I can just search for it. If you are searching for properties on Wikidata, an easy way to do it is to type P column and then um, uh, type, you know, a probable name of the property, country of citizenship. If I search, yes, I find that country of citizenship, the property is P27. So what I was looking at is I'm looking for Ghanaian lawyers who do not have a P27. That means who do not have a country of citizenship statement. Yes. And with that, I type minus P27. So it's gonna now give me a list of Ghanaian lawyers who do not have P27 like this. So if I search, I get a lot of them. As an example, if you look at someone like Amanda Akuko Clinton, the only thing that the system picked up that tells us that they are Ghanaian lawyers is the description here but they actually don't have a statement that says that they are Ghanaian. All the statements here is, you know, instance of given name, sex, or gender, occupation, and that's it. But this was actually where the search function picked it up from. Okay, now I have my list. Um, I want to add um, country of citizenship statement for all of these people. There are probably about how many are there? 
there are 30 of them. Um, I already pulled this list and I prepared it somewhere. And that list is, oops, I have to create it again. Okay, no problem. I have them here. Okay, so I've extracted all of it. The, I've jumped the step of how to actually extract the QIDs from here. Because you don't know that's there are so many ways of doing it. So I have the IQ IDs here. And let's just call it QID, the column. Basically, what I'm trying to do is, is um, this is a list of Ghanaian lawyers without country of citizens of QID. Um, and I want to add a using quick statement. So the statement I want to add is P27. So let's just call this row P27. And let's drag it down. Oops. All of them I'm adding P27. Oops. Drag this down. Drag this down. OK. Um, what next? Now, we have the QID, we have the property, we need a country. So, Gloria, Akufo, or whatever this, I, this QID represents, has a country of citizenship. Which country? Ghana. So, what is the, Q, what is the QID for Ghana on Wikidata? We can search for it. It is Q117. So Q117. Okay, I drag this down. Why does this keep happening? I want all of them to have Q117. Okay. Q117, all of them. All right. So like previously, we just have to combine these two cells. That is the QID and then the P27. Okay. No. Okay. So again, we Combine this, we put a comma here, and then we add this. Oops. We do the same for this, the QID, and then we combine it with the Q117. We do that for all of them. Again, it is not a good, good use of your time to do that manually. You can just um, contact me. to have them combined for you. We are combining this. And then um, this. So, I'll do it step by step so people don't get confused. By combining A5 and C, C5, okay, C5. But then we need to have a, we need to have a comma between them, right? Because that's what the header says, QID comma, the P27. So you simply just add another value and because the comma is a string, you put it in columns. This is actually not hard, it's just um, formless. Then you drag it across. And then you have all of the QIDs separated by a comma and then the country. Um, Gloria Akufo, comma, Ghana. Another person, Suleimana Mohammed, comma, Ghana. 
So that's what we want. Now we just have to copy this. And then that is our batch. We go and paste it in quick statements. And then we run it. And then it adds those statements to those items. So I copy this. Remember to always include the header. Is the header that you know the command is a header actually. So copy including the header to go to quick statement. Starts all over again. I'm creating a new batch. I can give this batch a name or not. Test batch whatever. And I paste my commands and I import as a CSV, right? Okay. So it's showing me just the first thing. I can increase the count of it to 500. So it shows me all of the things, something of them. And then that is it. I can run in the background or I can run and then see it actually and then it's one by one, one by one, one by one. So just for you to see, if you look at someone called Sandra Opoku, for example, um, she's a Ghanaian lawyer, of course, but she hasn't got a statement that says that she's a citizen of Ghana. And that is what we are adding to this and to the rest of the statement, uh, to the to the QIDs, you know, the rest of the people. So I run my batch. And then first one is done, second one is done, third one is done, all the way to the switch is 100%. So let's check one of them and see. Aquila Pasoya, for example. If we go to Aquila Pasoya, we now see that it has a country of citizenship which is Ghana. And this was added nine seconds ago. You can check that from the history as well. There was a batch that was created nine seconds ago. You know, we gave it a batch number and the tool that was used was quick statement. That is, that is basically it. Um, we can also add multiple statements to, uh, you know, not just, you know, one statement like the country of citizenship. We can add something else. Let's say uh, if we know that the, uh, the, their place of birth, for example, you can add that statement. Now, place of birth statements would be, again, let's search, I don't know. You don't have to know any of the QIDs or the PIDs in your head. You can simply search them. So I'm searching for the property place of birth. Place of birth. OK, it is P19. So assuming we wanted to add not just um, not just the country of citizenship, but also their place of birth, that is the P19s. So I would come and then I would have it in a new column. Instead of the QID and just the P27, and I want to also add P, what do you call it, P19. And for that, um, I would have this. The QID, their country of citizenship, which is Ghana, and then their place of birth. Let's say this person was born in Tamale. I can't just type Tamale. I need to use the QID of Tamale. So I go and search for what the QID of Tamale is on Wikidata. Tamale, not the food, hopefully. 
but the town okay country in northern region so the qid for tamale is q217040 <clears throat> yes if all of them were from tamale <laughs> it would make my life easier i will just add this add this oops no add 217040 but obviously they are not all from tamale so i'll actually have to, to know which qid you know their place of birth qid and then i add them once i do that again i just copy the the uh, the label i mean the header and then all of the the values in the cells i go and create a new batch this one is done i can close it i create a new batch and i paste it i'll zoom in kumasi is four nine or four six and then let's say someone else someone else um, different person from Takwa let's see 411 I just import CSV commands and then it's, it's going to add these two statements to those items these are obviously not correct so I'm not going to go ahead and then run it but that is the general idea um oh that's yeah basically that is it we've shown how to add it descriptions to, to a list of items one to add one statement to a list of items we've shown how to add multiple statements to a list of items the next thing is for you to actually give it a try run into errors and figure it out or just ping me and then um you know that's a, that's a, the the easiest way to learn how to use it after you know people have become quite comfortable with, with quick statements maybe in the next couple of weeks we can look at a part two of this where we would add a little more complex um little more complex scenarios like adding um adding um, how about you call it uh, references references and labels and qualifiers and all of that and then we can possibly have a third part sometime to look at how to actually create new items from scratch using quick statements and that is it we have a few more minutes for questions if anyone has them and i hope this was helpful to get you started on using quick statements at, at least <laughs> Are there any questions? If not, I will stop sharing my screen. So I just wanted to comment that it was a really helpful session. I can imagine how much more difficult this would have been to for it to be self-thought. So really thank you for taking your time and also showing how to transfer it to Excel and import on the entire process. I think it was really helpful to join the session to learn about using Wikidata and adding to it. Yeah, yeah that's very true. Um, you know, figuring it out, figuring, <clears throat> sorry, figuring it out is actually not an interesting thing. So the tutorials usually help, you know, help people sort of have to go through that state of, you know, figuring it out for themselves. Yeah. Hello? Yes. 